has in India, if anyone will listen the name of the movie, 1947 Partition, they'll be like, yeah, the Britishers will come and everything will be destroyed. When I, but when I saw the trailer, the British lady says, we do India uh, partition karne nahi aate. And I was mind blown, like, kya? Is, is this the truth? But though you're speaking the truth, there will be some people who will say that you are British. Ko support kar rahe. It's actually an interesting question. And you know, I, I, th yeah. there was, of course, a famous article which you had to respond to by Fatima Bhutto, which made a sort of similar charge, yes, right? Yes, yes. I think the film is very much a British Indian film mm. by someone who is British Indian, Indian. Mm. and also a woman, you know. Yeah. So I see things from different perspectives. Uh, the truth of the matter is that Edwina Mountbatten was devastated by what was going on. You know, she came to India with a lot of ambition to help people do a lot of good things. She used to go out and meet all kinds of women in Congress. Uh, she went to Gandhi's uh, prayer meetings. Um, she was part of the head of the Red Cross. She used to go to refugee camps regularly. All this is there in archive footage. I really uh, you know, felt that was something worth showing here. Um, at the same time, you know, I wanted to show that in my story, um, you know, everyone is blamed, everyone here blames Mountbatten, you know, um, but actually, according to my research, that's not where the blame should lie. That's not to say that he's not at fault, and I show him in the film as being um, very much out of his depth, uh, much more interested in his medals and his clothes. You know, he's a very vain man. But he thought that he could come to India and charm people into doing what he wanted them to do because he was so arrogant about his own charm. You know, but obviously he realized that was not working with uh, Jinnah. And I think what you see is a marriage where the wife is actually much more intelligent and more politically astute than her husband. So for me, that was interesting. You know, as a Britisher, making a film about British Asian history, that part is interesting. But equally interesting are the Indian characters and what is going on with all the Indian characters. So for me, the story is about both sides, you know. I remember seeing uh, Vidhi Vinod Chopra's film, 1942 Love Story, a long time ago. And uh, in it, there's uh, uh, the British actor, Brian. But during the whole movie, he was just like very two-dimensional and very like hang him, hang him kind of thing, you know. And, and whilst that works for here, for over there, I thought, well, you know, it would have been interesting to make that character a bit more complex, you know, because it's very easy to make villains, very, very easy to draw villains, write villains. It's much more harder to make villains human. And, and then that's, that's more sinister, you know. So what I've done in this film is to humanize everybody, everybody, even Jinnah, you know, uh, even uh, Nehruji, Gandhiji, everybody, Mount Buttons, and I've presented to you what I see as what happened in those days, whose agenda was what. Now, this is what I see from my perspective. I am absolutely sure somebody from India would make a different film and somebody from Pakistan would make a different film and a Gora in Britain would make a different film. You know, I'm able to stand back and, you know, being bicultural, bilingual, living in a multicultural society, I have a, a, a much more inclusive view of the world. For me, it's about inclusion, you know. I could have easily made a film that was angry, you know, that demonized villainized people yeah. easy i could have done that but for me the challenge was to not give pe make people angry make people understand that that was happening then it happens now and look at the geopolitics of a situation but i think that at the end of the day it's you know i can present the facts ma'am the way you were telling us the everything, I know I can connect to you right now. And if my mom would have been here, she would have hugged you. So can I? Oh, that's so sweet. Come on. So sweet. See, how human is this? <laughs> Thank you.